The music world was rocked recently by the news of Sean Diddy Combs' arrest on federal charges in Manhattan. This shocking development sent shockwaves through the entertainment industry and beyond, as the hip-hop mogul, known for his lavish lifestyle and chart-topping success, found himself facing serious legal trouble. Details surrounding the specific charges remain tightly sealed, adding to the intrigue and speculation surrounding the case. However, what is known is that the arrest came on the heels of a grand jury indictment, indicating a serious legal battle ahead for Combs. Combs' attorney, Mark Agnifilo, has spoken out publicly, expressing his disappointment with the prosecution's decision to pursue charges. Agnifilo maintains his client's innocence and asserts that Combs travelled to New York voluntarily, ready to confront the allegations head-on. Sean Diddy Combs has long been lauded as a visionary entrepreneur and one of the most influential figures in the music industry. His rise to fame began in the 1990s with his record label Bad Boy Records, which launched the careers of iconic artists like the notorious Big and Maze. Combs' own music career flourished with hit songs like Can't Nobody Hold Me Down and I'll Be Missing You solidifying his place in hip-hop history. Beyond music, he ventured into fashion launching his Sean John clothing line and even dipped his toes into the world of acting, showcasing his multifaceted talents. However, the recent federal charges against him have cast a dark cloud over his accomplishments, leading many to question the legacy he will ultimately leave behind. The allegations, if proven true, threaten to overshadow his remarkable career, painting a picture of a man who abused his power and influence. The federal charges against Combs come amidst a backdrop of disturbing allegations of sexual assault that have plagued the hip-hop icon in recent years. Several women have come forward with accusations, some filing lawsuits detailing harrowing accounts of their alleged experiences with Combs. Among the most prominent accusers is his former girlfriend, singer Cassie Ventura, who filed a lawsuit alleging years of abuse, including physical violence and rape. Ventura's lawsuit further claims that Combs engaged in sex trafficking, coercing her into sexual acts with other individuals. These allegations, while vehemently denied by Combs, have fueled public outrage and sparked calls for accountability. The weight of these accusations, coupled with the recent federal charges, has tarnished Combs' public image and raised serious concerns about his conduct. In the face of mounting allegations and legal challenges, Sean Diddy Combs has remained steadfast in his denial of all wrongdoing. He maintains his innocence, asserting that the accusations are baseless and motivated by personal vendettas or attempts to exploit his wealth. Combs' legal team has vigorously defended him, characterizing the civil lawsuits as lacking credible evidence and driven by financial gain. They point to inconsistencies in the accuser's accounts and emphasize that no criminal charges related to the alleged incidents have been filed. Despite Combs' denials, the allegations have undoubtedly cast a shadow over his personal and professional life. His reputation has suffered a significant blow and the ongoing legal battles threaten to derail his career and legacy. As the legal proceedings unfold, the potential consequences for Sean Diddy Combs loom large. If convicted on the federal charges, he could face a lengthy prison sentence, a devastating blow that would likely mark the end of his career. Even if he avoids a guilty verdict, the reputational damage may prove insurmountable. The allegations alone have already tarnished his image, and the ongoing public scrutiny and legal battles threaten to overshadow his past achievements. The outcome of these legal challenges remains uncertain, but one thing is clear. Sean Diddy Combs' life and legacy hang in the balance. The world watches as the legal drama unfolds, a stark reminder that even the most successful and powerful individuals are not above the law.